Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Moa from GMS London Forecast. is coming to you another lesson in the name of Yahweh. Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Akakotash. That's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of our Creator and our power, who the world calls God. You know, He has a name and it's Yahweh, meaning He exists. You know, He's the Ancient of Days, man. Right? And Yahweh Shai is His Son. They are two separate men, two separate entities. All right. Yahweh Shai is our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But right? He's the Son of the Most High, who, uh, who was sacrificed in order for uh, us to find repentance, man. All right. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and who rule well and peace and blessings to the Archelite there, the, the, the house of David, you know, that's being built, that's doing this work in the name of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. So what I want to get into today is a brief, I don't want to go too deep, but just a, just a few scriptures to just show you that Yahweh and Yahweh, there is no, yeah, you know, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ is not God. All right, they are two, you know, God and 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 the Savior or Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are two separate people, two separate men, two separate powers. All right, you know, the Christian Church teaches you of this Holy Trinity, which there is a trinity so to speak which is the heavenly father um <clears throat> and, and our lord and savior Yahweh Shai, and also the holy spirit man but they you know that Yahweh Shai is not Yahweh, and the scriptures tell you that so this you know basically the doctrines of <clears throat> catholicism and christianity have ruined this truth but you know, as we always say, the truth isn't for everyone. So I'm just going to get right into it and hopefully it will make sense and you'll be edified. So I'm going to start here. Proverbs 13, 4 it says, who, have, who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fists? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. So there's two uh, points in there to be made. One I'm not going to get into as such. But obviously it's asking you. Uh, what is the name of the Heavenly Father? And what is the name of his son? Which shows you that their names are not written in the scriptures. Alright. You know, those were the mysteries man. That, for, that is not for everybody to get the understanding because you still have Israelites that know their people, you know, are people that know their Israelites calling on the names uh, Yahweh and Yahushua Yeh or Yahshua, whatever they say. All right. So even the Israelites that know their Israelites of our of people of our nation still don't have that mystery. They still haven't solved those mysteries or the mysteries haven't been given into the, unto them. <coughs> Alright, but that's another lesson anyway, just want to make that point. But then it says, what is his name and what is his son's name? So, they're two separate people, man, alright? Just wanted to read that to make that point. So let's just jump around. Like I said, it's not going to be a long one. There's no need. I don't want to make it too deep. Just keep it simple and... Uh, so I can keep it simple. <coughs> And uh, you know, the understanding Lord willing will be got. So Second uh, Corinthians eleven and three says, "But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, or Christ, meaning the anointed, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, or the anointed, is Yahweh." There's an order, man, and it goes Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, child, man. 
So there it goes again, proving that they are two separate entities. Okay. Right, First Timothy 2 and 5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, or Hamashiach Yahweh Shai Salakia. So there is one power and one mediator between Yahweh and men, the man Hamashiach Yahweh Shai who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Alright? That ransom he gave was, was his sacrifice, man. The, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sacrificed his own son. Alright? That's the level of love that he has for his people, even though he's put us through the ringer, and rightfully so. Right? He gave us his son, our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai. For salvation, man. You know, that would be like saying the most high came down as you know, in, if you were to look at it in a in a in the sense of Christianity, the most high came down and sacrificed himself. That's just foolishness, man. That's folly. You know, these Christians ain't got it, man. Back in First Corinthians again. You know, this is, that is a. Uh, you know, it's beautiful that the you know when you get this truth, you know, through the spirit and power of the heavenly Father Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shai, man, you, you, it just all makes sense, and it, and it, there's so much link ups in the scriptures, man. First uh, Corinthians eight and five says, "For though there be, for though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods many and lords many, but to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, which is Yahweh, and we in Him, and one Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, by whom are all things, and and we by Him, because Yahweh Shai was the." first spirit man he, 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 and it was him that made everything he was that power when, when you read in Genesis man that when it says the word God it means power but then we you know when, when we read we, we have to understand in the context we know that when it says God or Lord in all caps it's talking about the Heavenly Father man Yahweh so once again there's a separation So this is quite simple, and there's no need to go deep. Because the problem is in the Christian church, and in the world, full stop, that they don't actually read. They just listen to men spewing things on pulpits, all right, and take their word for it. And the scripture says, blessed is he that readeth, man. All right, you're supposed to study and even with all the stud in the world, if the spirit's not on you, you're never gonna get it. I'll keep sorry, I'll keep saying that. And this is gonna prove a point here. So this is Matthew twenty six, and this is before um, you know they come in to, they come in to take take Yahweh Shai, you know, to put him on, on to trial and, and, and to crucify him, man. Before the betrayal of um Judas, man, and a denial uh, uh, from, uh, from Peter, yeah, <clears throat> so it's Matthew 26 and 36, it says, then come if you have a shy with them unto 
a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. And first and foremost, if he's going to go and pray and he's God, who's he going to go and pray to? If he's the Most High, like these, these people are saying, who's he going to go and pray to then? Right? And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy because he knew what was going to come upon him. Right? You know, we know what's going to come upon us to a degree. We don't know if we know there's going to be some hard times. We know that some of us are going to die for this truth. But yeah, I wish I knew what was coming, exactly what was coming, man. That's a heavy way to bear, man. That's a heavy cross to bear, I will say. All right. Imagine that. You know, take a minute to think, to, to meditate on on that, you know, I mean, it'll take more than a minute to meditate on how heavy that is. All right, it says, then, verse 30, it says, then saith he unto them, my soul is exceeding sorrow, sorrowful, sorry, it's like, it. my soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death, tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. All right. So he prayed to the Most High, man. He prayed to the Most High that he would deliver him from that fate, if it be the Most High's will. But you know, really and truly, he knew that it was his that will must that will had to be fulfilled, man. But he had to pray. He had to pray because he was fearful, man. Not because of lack of faith, but it's a, he was in, he was in the flesh. You know, if the Lord put if the Lord put him on the earth with all the powers, put you know that all his true power, and his true and you know, and that the lack of fear, what would be the point of him putting him? What would be the point of him putting him up for the sacrifice, man? He had to be shown. He had to be shown as a man. To go through that for us, man. Right, I'm just going to get one more. It's really simple when you really get 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 it, you know. When you really read the scriptures, it's uh, it's not hard to understand, man. Right, I'll read this from the top, man. This is John 17 and 1. It says, These words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may all so that thy son also may glorify thee. Thou hast and self eternity, thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And that's the elect and and and, and the one third tested, you know, destined for salvation, man. And this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true power in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, whom thou hast sent. So this is all self-explanatory. There's no need to even break that down. It says, "I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do." And now, O Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. You see that? The glory which he had with him before the world was, meaning he's the original, the first spirit, the first spirit like I said, man. Well, I remember when I first got these break the breakdowns, man. And it's it's funny because, you know, you can break, like I said before, you can break down these things to, to anyone. And they're just, it's just not going to sink in. But it resonated, alright? It resonated because the Spirit, you know, the Lord put the Spirit on me for it to resonate, for me to get the understanding. And I pray that the Lord takes not His Holy Spirit away from me, man. That's that Psalms 51, alright? Because it's a gift, 
you can't believe you can't believe the scriptures without faith, man. It's not a simple matter of it being broken down to you to understand. If you wanna, if you wanna understand, it helps. But the faith is the key to believing in what it says. It says, verse six says, "I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were." And thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. And those are the prophets, man. And all the prophets of old are here today, man. All the men that taught this this word are here again teaching it today in the reincarnation. Now they have known all that now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given them unto for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. And have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. You see? And that's us, man. You know, some 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 there's there's men out there that say they that they believe and say they have the faith, and they're, they're charlatans, man. You know, I'm not talking about anyone in particular, but there are men out there that do that, man. And then there are men that firmly believe, truly and utterly believe on this word, man. That received this received this word for the spirit. Verse 9 says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. The elect, man. The, the ones that are predestined for salvation. All and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be as one as we are. See, and that scriptures like that, you see, that <coughs> deceive the unlearned and the unfaithful men, right? Because they are as one. They are as one as what in the in the in the word, man, in the truth. You know, Yahweh was sent. To do his father's bidding, man, he couldn't do that if he wasn't one in 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 a spirit with the heavenly father. He says, "While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled." Right. Anyway, that's it. You know, I'm going into something else. But the point is proven, man. Yahweh Shai is not the Heavenly Father, right? And that's not, that's not, um, you know, that's not uh, anything blasphemous. That is the truth, all right? He's our Lord and Savior, man. We hold him in high regard as we should, man. We pray in the name of Yahweh. We pray to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, man. And we worship Yahweh Shai, man. All right? He's our Lord, man. But he is under the heavenly father, man. There's order. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, and child, man. So Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, as we just read in all those scriptures, are not one and the same. Alright? So, yeah. I'm going to close out there. And, uh, you know, as always, I'll say that, you know, I pray that this was edifying. You know, hopefully you were edified by this lesson. And I'll finish off by giving you the praises on the glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'll say, Ka Hala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Alright. All praises to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit, man. Alright, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.